Hi, this is Randy Rosetta with NOLA.com and the New Orleans Times Picayune with an LSU basketball vlog. Right after LSU does the unexpected, I don't know if unexpected is the right word, the near impossible maybe is a better way to say it. Tigers fell behind West Virginia 14 points in the second half and find a way to come back and win this one 74 to 73. Josh Gray made a layup with 7.4 seconds left. Uh, off a set play following a timeout. Just an uh, amazing game for both teams. Two teams that have NCAA tournament aspirations that very much played like it tonight. This one had a little bit of everything. Uh, comebacks, uh, intensity, hard fouls, anything you could think of. LSU played like a team that has a chance to be the NCAA tournament come March. It's, it's December. It's, it's early. There's a lot to be said between now and then. But they did a lot of things well had turnover problems again, had 24 of them after having 19 against UMass, but overcame that, finally solved what was bugging them against West Virginia's, West Virginia's press and started attacking it with different guys making plays off of the press, and that was a key. There were a lot of keys. LSU played much better defensively, uh, held West Virginia to a lot of one-and-done uh, possessions, took away offensive rebounds, and guys were relentless and persistent and persevered and that goes across the board. Uh, Josh Gray had seven turnovers, overcame that to make the last shot. Keith Hornsby struggled in the first half offensively, hit two huge three-pointers. One put LSU ahead in the closing minute. Another one tied the game earlier after the after LSU came back from 14 down. Jordan Mickey missed most of the first half with foul trouble, came back, got six defensive rebounds and was a real key on defense. Uh, Jarrell Martin was just his normal steady self, 18 points, 14 rebounds. Just a lot of guys, different guys contribute, and that's what this team is. It's what they need to be moving forward. And now they have a very much a signature win moving forward. Not just this one, but the UMass win earlier this week. This was as important a non-conference week as LSU's had in several years, and they managed to get two wins, including this amazing come-from-behind win that looked like it was going to be impossible when LSU get down 14 and they're turning the ball over. This is Randy Rosetta with NOLA.com and the Times-Picayune.